OK, so welcome to today's tutorial on using InfoPath Forms with SharePoint 2010. Today, we'll be looking at how we conditionally hide form fields using a very simple concept in InfoPath known as rules. On the screen now, you'll see a standard SharePoint 2010 task list. However, I've changed this task list to add two extra columns, which you will see here. We have the Special Conditions Applied column, which is a yes-no tick box, and we have the Special Conditions Details, which is a multi-line text field. The idea is that with my task, I may specify extra conditions, which people need to be aware of. When users create new tasks in the list, I want to hide the Special Conditions Details field when the Special Conditions Applied Ticks box has not been selected. Using InfoPath 2010 with SharePoint, I can do this very easily indeed. So, how do I begin? First of all, I need to go to the Lists tab of the ribbon. Then, I click the Customize Form button and this will open InfoPath 2010. InfoPath 2010 opens and shows me a representation of the list form for my task list. You can see here at the bottom my two extra fields, Special Conditions Applied and Special Conditions Details. To conditionally hide Special Conditions Details, I select the field, then Manage Rules and I create a new rule here by clicking New. This is going to be a formatting rule as it's hiding something. I give my rule a good name so I know what it is when maintaining this form in future. So, the main thing I want to do is hide this field control, so I tick the box here. When, I, when do I want to hide it? Well, I need to set a condition. There isn't a condition yet, but I click None here under Condition and I can set a new one. My condition is that when Special Conditions Applied is equal to False, i.e. the tick box is not ticked, we want to hide this field. Only when there is a Special Condition and we've ticked this field do we want the text box to show up. I OK that and now I have my rule. That's all I need to do. To publish my changes, I just click the Quick Publish button at the top left of the screen. Then, I get a message saying the form was successfully published. Going back to my task list, if I add a new item, I should now see my new InfoPath form, not a standard SharePoint form. Here we see the new form which I created in InfoPath. As you can see, it looks a little different. The thing that is interesting here is that there is no field where the Special Conditions Details text box should be. Unless I tick the Special Conditions Applied box, and then I'm able to type there. Unticking the box will also hide it again. That concludes today's video.